In this video, we'll learn how to use palettes and format our files to make them look professional and easier to read. When we first start using Mathematica, if we just start typing, the default is that we're typing in input mode. And as we've discussed, we can type in simple commands like, for example, solving an equation. We can solve the equation x squared equals 4. And when we press Shift Enter, we get our result. But what if we want to include explanations and try to put this calculation in context of a larger problem. Well, we might like to type text like we would see in a, in a word processing program. And Mathematica gives us the ability to do that. So if we click our mouse above the line that we've typed, so notice that it turns into a horizontal crossbar. If we click up there, now we'd like to enter some text up here. But we don't want that text to be input text. We want it to be actual explanatory text. So there's a couple ways to do that. Probably the easiest way to do it is to go over to where you see this plus sign. If you click the plus sign, this gives us options for how to enter the cell that we want to type there. The default is Mathematica input. If we type equal or double equals, then that gives us freeform input or a Wolfram Alpha query. But what we want is plain text. So if we cl click on the plain text option and start typing, we can type an explanation for what this calculation means. So this gives us a way to include in between our calculations explanations for what the calculations actually represent. If, for example, down here we wanted to type something like, notice that if we just start typing without thinking about it, Mathematica is going to try to interpret what we've typed as input. Notice that it's coloring this text blue, which is Mathematica's way of saying that it doesn't know what those variables stand for. So if we want this to be a text cell, one way we can do that is by highlighting the cell bracket in the right-hand side of the notebook, going to the Format menu. Under Style, this gives us all of the different possible styles that we have for cells. And notice that the Input option is checked because the default is to start typing in input mode. But if we want this to be regular text, then we can select the Text option, and that turns what we typed into regular text. Another way to put in nice looking input is to use some built-in palettes. If we go to the palettes menu, one palette that you'll find very useful is called the Basic Math Assistant. If we click on that, that opens the Basic Math Assistant over here. Again, I'm going to increase the zoom level to make this a little bit easier to see. And we see a lot of different buttons here. But some of these buttons are simply just shortcuts for things that we already know how to do. So for example, we know that the SQRT command is a way to get the square root. But we can also click this button to get the actual square root symbol. So that if I wanted the square root of 100, I can simply type 100 into the center of that square root command. And if I press Enter, I get the result of 10. I can also get the value of pi, e, and so on. If we go to the Advanced tab, we can actually do many more things. We can type in integrals, matrices. We can also get a shortcut for that complicated function definition syntax. In a previous video, we learned that there, there's a very particular syntax that needs to be used to define functions involving underscores and so on. But if we simply click the Define Function button, this gives us a template that we can type into. So we can now define a function, say, let's call it fun for function. And maybe it's a function of the variable x and maybe that function is x squared minus 5. And that's a much easier way to enter functions rather than having to remember that we need the underscore and the colon equals. And now if we press shift enter on that line, we can evaluate our function just like we normally would. So I encourage you to open up this basic math assistant and play around with some of the options and see uh, what kinds of things you can do. Again, here are some trig functions down here and some other uh, and some other more visual uh, types of aids. Also note that you can type these things into the text cells as well. So if I inter insert a text cell here, and I might want to say, how do we compute the square root of 100? Well, if I click the square root button, notice that inside this text cell, I'm actually getting a nice looking square root symbol that I can use to explain my, that my next calculation is going to be the square root of 100. So typing in things using these symbols is not necessary, but it really does make your file much more readable and much easier to understand. Something else that can make our files readable and easier to understand is to have more robust formatting of our text. So if we open up another palette, which is called the Writing Palette, or the Writing Assistant, if we go to the Palettes menu and select Writing Assistant, again, I'll increase the zoom here so you can see a little bit better. 
Notice that the options here involve fonts. For example, we can make boldface, italics, increase or decrease the font size, um, those sorts of things. We can also change the type of cell that we're talking about. So for example, maybe this text here that says, how do we compute the square root of 100? Perhaps we want that to actually be the title of a section that's all about square roots. Well, then that would be one of these options under section cells. We click this and maybe we want that to be a subsection. And that makes this be a much larger, much uh, a much bigger a section title that's going to stand out and make our file that much easier to read. And again, if we scroll down, some of these options are repeated from the basic math assistant, for example, the integrals and, uh, and matrices and so on. So explore with these palettes, use them to make your files look nice, and uh, it's really going to make a difference in terms of how effectively people will be able to read the files that you're creating.